Learning analytics often tries to measure some quite complex constructs such as performance, effort, motivation. But these sort of things aren't easily captured by systems. Those systems were designed to capture things like clicks, swipes, logins. And what learning analytics does is it takes those and it tries to interpret those at a higher level. One of the most prominent examples of an early alert system is the signal system developed at Purdue University in the US. Now that developed four metrics uh, that are used in learning analytics. The first of these is called student characteristics and that measures things such as whether you were the first in your family to study higher education. The second one is your previous qualifications, your, your prior achievement, uh, maybe attained at, at school. And then there's the effort that you're putting into your current studies measured by aspects such as uh, logins to the VLE and finally there's uh, your current performance how are you doing in the assessments in the module to date. A bit closer to home Nottingham Trent University is one of the earliest adopters of learning analytics in the UK. They took a conscious decision not to look at students backgrounds but to concentrate on what they were doing while they were at university. They looked at a whole range of different indicators and identified the ones that were most indicative of success, or most correlated with students' likelihood of success, as being uh, attendance on campus and at lectures, use of the library, and access to the virtual learning environment. A lot of other studies have uh, identified, encouragingly, that actually what you do while at university is a better indicator of success than your background. Learning analytics systems can present quite sophisticated ways of viewing the data to us, uh, but often that's not enough. We have to use our judgment to take decisions based on that data and based on the statistics, how they're presented to us. It's worth remembering that causation is not the same as correlation, that often uh, student effort is a good indicator of whether the student's likely to succeed, but not always. So we always have to exercise our human judgment rather than just accept the analytics as gospel.